Hi, I'm Scott and welcome to my channel. A channel that I hope as it grows is a place that those of us with some gray hair and experience can get together and share our common interests. Whether that be boating, scotch, cigars, motorcycles, everyday carry, which is the topic of the day today. I recently realized as I was walking out the door that because of the pandemic and everything that's going on, my everyday carry has changed fairly dramatically. The items haven't, the way I carry them has, some things I've added on, and I thought, a good topic for our first video. One thing that we all carry, of course, is our cell phones. Uh, an issue I have is self-inflicted, I carry two. Um, one for work, strictly, an iPhone 8. All my work emails, all my work phone calls, text, the applications for work, everything, strictly on this one. Then I carry an iPhone 11 Pro. Uh, I can't show you because it's right there filming us right now. Um, good news is, is the 11 Pro is a little smaller than the 8, which allows me to, even in the dark, reach over, figure out which one I want. Um, and that makes it a little bit less burdensome. For a wallet, I have carried for years a Saddleback Leather ID wallet. It's very slim, fits in your front pocket very easily. Uh, obviously, I've taken my ID card out of there um, for this video. It holds credit cards or other cards on several pockets back here, also down the middle uh, and behind the uh, license spot. Excellent quality Saddleback Leather. If you haven't looked at them before, I highly suggest you do. Um, the quality is amazing. I think their tagline in referencing your kids is they'll fight over it when you're dead because they last that long. I have a number of their products, a briefcase. I have um, a messenger bag, the wallet, obviously, uh, the covers for my iPads, uh, and I say iPads because the covers outlast the current generation iPad that they're holding. So as I've gotten a new iPad, I've had to get a new cover. Um, they're really excellent uh, quality and I highly recommend them. Uh, for keys, I have been carrying a key bar for a number of years. Uh, can easily hold and well organize a couple of house keys a couple of ancillary keys, as you can see here. Um, I've added a few items to it, a pry bar tool, a small uh, screwdriver set, and even a small flashlight for at night being able to uh, see the, the door handle and the key slot very easily. We mentioned iPads and iPhones. So of course I carry an iPod. Um, this one is a regular iPod. I also have the iPod Pro. Uh, in this case, in a leather aftermarket case um, because leather. For a knife, which I know if you are aficionados of the everyday carry videos on YouTube, a lot of people look at the knives first. Um, the one I've been carrying for quite a while is this small Boker Plus. And um, excellent quality, Very maintains a very sharp edge, has checkering on the top uh, and a little finger grip there, serrated edge, um, will do the job for just about anything you need it for. Uh, I started carrying it primarily because of the size, very unassuming. Um, I started carrying it when I lived in the People's Republic of New Jersey, where their knife laws were vague and contradictory at best. This one, um, I was fairly certain would not run afoul of any laws there. You may have noticed I also use it as my money clip so I can easily slip the necessary bills behind the clip 
and there you go my money cl clip and my knife all in one i have also thrown in my pocket from time to time this small it's called a micro blade from wesson w-e-s-n a local company here in detroit uh, a nice finger throw very small very compact very sharp easily just slides into your pocket um, and one i carry fairly frequently for weapon um, i am a concealed carry holder uh, i have carried a weapon professionally for 35 years now or so um, but in this day and age when we're dressed casually almost all the time uh, working from home i find myself more and more often now reaching for my six hour P365 nine millimeter um, with a, an extension uh, on the magazine. Um, an excellent weapon, great concealability. I throw it in my DeSantis pocket holster into my front pocket uh, and always have it with me. Uh, I'm not gonna get too much into um, the specifics around the SIG. Um, there are a zillion other channels that do that. It's one of a variety of weapons I have to choose from. My wife always laughs at me and says, I accessorize with my weapons as she does with her purses. But depending on the event, the dress, um, whatever I happen to be doing, yeah, I will pick and choose what the appropriate weapon is to carry with me. Now, with regard to the pandemic, we're carrying hand sanitizer and a lot of it um, and using it constantly. This one is from Bath and Body Works called Ocean, their men's collection. Uh, I really like the scent. I like the fact that it's relatively mild because I use it all the time. Anytime I'm out, out of the house, it seems like every couple of minutes I'm, I'm sanitizing my hands. It's not as harsh as some other things that I've been using. There's some that we were using that came literally directly out of a local distillery, straight alcohol, uh, and dried out your hands uh, immediately. So I like this product a lot. Um, and then mask. This is not a political statement. You have to wear a mask nowadays. Um, in some cases, it's the law. It certainly is here. Um, now, with all of this going on, an N95 certainly wasn't going to work. The surgical mask, not a good look for me. Um, I did wear, for a very long time, a shemog, given my time in the Middle East. Uh, wrapped that around the face. Uh, worked very effectively. I thought quite stylish. I got a lot of comments on it. Um, but recently, I have gone with this full face, full beard cover mask that I purchased from a seller on Etsy. I will find the link for you and uh, attach it down below. Uh, this one obviously covers the full face, looks much better, works very effectively, is not restrictive at all because of all this. Um, I really like it. And because I like it, because it's comfortable, I wear it a lot more. Um, almost exclusively whenever I'm out, whenever we're in public, uh, we wear these things. Um, just my personal opinion and something that, that has to be done. So, obviously, <clears throat> you may have noticed or guessed, this is my first video. Zero subs, zero views, zero likes. Uh, if you found any of this even remotely interesting, please subscribe down below, hit the like button, hit the bell button, um, and we'll have hopefully more and interesting com uh, content uh, to come. I look forward to the journey and I welcome you and hope you'll join me.